your girl Bella. This is my cousin Anissa. And this Yo. is Bella Talks. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Like I said, we have my cousin Anissa on the show. She is our guest today. So, we're just going to jump right in. So, Anissa. Yes. You left corporate, right? Yes. You left corporate to pursue arts, mm -hmm. such as dance, fashion, yeah. and fitness. Yeah. So, tell me what made you decide to leave corporate? So, I was in corporate for about seven, eight years after I graduated college. I did all these different roles in coaching and consulting. Mm -hmm. And I was just over it. I, I realized that I don't really make the best employee because mm -hmm. I really march to the beat of my own drum I always have. Okay. And then something just hit me. A voice kept saying like Anissa, you don't like this. Mm -hmm. Why are you why do you keep doing it? And the last job I had, I told myself that was my last corporate job. So I just I had been stifling this creative and artistic side inside of myself for so long and it kept speaking to me so I decided to move away from the things that I really wasn't interested in. I love it. Just so y'all know, like, this girl, like, she's been trained in tap and jazz. Like, we've been taking dance classes since, like, we was kids. So, don't let her fool you. I'm rusty now, though. I'm don't let her fool you. I've been wearing suits and being <laughs> corporate and not doing artsy things. She thing. can get down on a dance floor. So what advice would you give adults or just people in general who feel like they're stuck, who want to pursue their true passions but feel like they they don't know what to do like they have to stick to where they at i'm still learning myself to be honest mm -hmm. and it's a very bold thing to do but i'd say listen to the voice inside if you have something inside of you that's like this doesn't feel right i need mm -hmm. to be doing this this feels right and that won't go away we've all been gifted with intuition absolutely we have to follow it i'm a typically a really happy person but there's always some type of sadness in me and i think that sad sadness came from me not doing any of the things that I really care really about. Want to do. Yes. Okay, follow the voice. Don't feel like you're gonna have to have it all figured out right away, but take the first step and just do what feels right. Don't do what other people tell you to do. Yes. Yeah. Rebel. No. Yes. Rebel. <laughs> My questions for you. What are five things you look for in a guy? Oh. The number one thing I would say is kindness. Mm -hmm. You have to have a pure heart and be kind, like not only to yourself but to me and other people if that's not there Absolutely. we got nothing i talk crap all day <laughs> so you gotta have sense of humor you have to be able to make me laugh or i'll be very disinterested um, don't be born don't be born <laughs> that leads me to the next part you, you gotta you have to be have some type of adventure mm -hmm. in you i'm the adventurous one so you don't have to be adventurous but you have to be willing to go along with it with my desire to, yeah. to do new things all the time. Integrity. Integrity. What you, you know, my sister and I were talking the other day, what you do when no one's watching is what's important to you. Don't, you know, how you are alone, like what type of heart, type of integrity do you have? How honest mm -hmm. are you? How, what's your character like? Spirituality, not in the religion sense, but in the belief that you are part of something that's greater than you, and that you came from something that's greater than you, therefore you have a certain level of humility that comes with being spiritual and knowing that you, um, there's this interconnectedness that you are part of in, in the universe. You want someone who's connected with themselves. Yeah. It's important, guys, to be in tune with yourself. What can I do to be better for me so I can be great for this woman? Uber or Lyft? Lyft. <laughs> oh, and I, it's true because I used to take Ubers, and I remember I Ubered with you one day, and you were like, I don't Uber. Ubers are creeps. South side or the west side? South side all day, okay, every day. Okay, south day. side. I want to jump back into spirituality. Yeah. Reflecting back on your childhood and understanding what happened when you were a child, and understanding it's not your fault for what happened to you when you were a child, and trying to grow from that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But spiritual, spiritual and mental health are very important. If you don't have that, growth is nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. You can have a career, you can have money, you can have bags, he can have money, bags, mm -hmm. cars, but if you're not in touch with um, really what makes you tick and how you became the way you are and the things that you want to improve about yourself, you really aren't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And nearly impossible to attract the kind of person you want to be with if you're not that yourself. Absolutely. So you have to become what you want. Women who are emotionally abused tend to date specific type of men. 
Yes. They may be narcissists, uh, possessive men, men who like to control you. But it's unlearning destructive pattern. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, you can do better. The time you have apart when you're by yourself, use that time to understand who you are yeah. as a person. I feel like people don't do that. I know I like to dance. I know I like to, you know, do a lot of arts. But at the same time, like, I like doing stuff like this. I like being yeah. able to open up topics and discuss things that I feel like are important. I can be the best version of myself every day. I could be better every day. You just got to trust yourself. Yeah, I touche to that. <laughs> touche. Yeah. Have fun in life. For a second, like, really think about everything you believe in and question all of it. And really dig deep and see what kind of life you want. But life becomes really freaking awesome and interesting when you really start following what that little voice inside is like drawing you towards. Amen. Forget what other people tell you what to do and what they're comfortable with you doing and what they think you should be doing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna put her Instagram right here. You can follow her on Instagram. If you have any questions, hit her up. I'd like to say first, thank you for having me on, this, on your show. Isn't she uh, awesome, guys? Isn't she awesome? I She's love awesome. her. awesome. Thank you to my beautiful cousin for being on my show. She's awesome. She's so spiritual. She's a great person. If you trying to talk to her, she's a goddess, okay? You got to come correct first. Don't be coming with no what you doing, what you doing. We ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> Nobody, we don't care about that, okay? Tutu. Tutu. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Mwah. Peace out.